Hi, this is Kevin with KGM Jam Owner Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com and join for free today and start advertising for free. Okay, today is Saturday, February 5th, and it is the beginning of my second month on my $10, $10,000 challenge. It is a challenge where I am going to attempt with as little investment as possible to turn the what I can make off the game of Splinterlands into $10,000 in a one year. Now, I, I don't have to get to 10000 but it will show either how, you know, just how the process works. And if I get to there, great. I might do more. I might do less. We'll see. But at first, let's go look at the rules. I got one year from the 2nd of January. I got to report all outside investments. So every time, like, Today I'm buying a pack, so I add it $4. Uh, I'm doing a pack every day just because it's more exciting to see uh, an opening of a pack for some people. And it can also, uh, initially, it's probably going to decrease my value uh, if I don't get good cards. But if I get great cards, it could actually help me towards my 10000 goal. Um, if I withdraw money to pay down the outside balance, I can subtract that from the total can use any number of ways to make money on platform to reach the goal and the total value of all assets that includes anything I'm staking can be used to reach my goal so I'm at $302 and let's go look at what the accounts worth 722 so now I just sunk in a hundred bucks to buy a bunch of uh, summoning cards from the the packs of chaos that they're just dropping and otherwise, I had three times my investment. So now I've only a little bit over, 50, you know, two times my investment, which ain't bad either. So for the first month, uh, I'm close to 7% towards my goal. And as the cards get more valuable, now remember, every day, well, actually 24-7, because this game is played all over the world. The number one country is Philippines, then the United States, and then there's a hundred something other countries after that. We got 400,000 active daily players as of right now. Um, every hour, people are buying cards or trade or whatever, and then they're combining them. And when they combine them, they destroy them and create a stronger card. So every day there's li there's a limited amount for each card, and once they've distributed all of them, that number starts coming down as people are combining. So every day the cards get rarer and rarer. So technically, if I never did anything, the if it ten times over the next twelve months or eleven, I could technically reach my ten thousand goal without doing anything, if the market did good. But that's year and eight. Here's my daily rentals. I get 102.36 DEC a day, which means I get to make money off my cards renting them out that I'm not, because you can't use them if you rent them. Of course, I got all the good ones for my battle thing. So I could be getting more, but I'd, I'd rather battle. I'll show you here in a second why. And uh, my yearly rate of return is 30%. So according to this, if... I mean, that number can go up and down. So, yeah, I don't know if, if pointing that out would be legit or not, I guess. I don't know. But um, I lost my train of thought here. So let's go back to the the battle page. Um, every day you get a quest. You got to win five victories. Today is the earth quest. That means I have to use the earth cards in victory. And you can lose a lot. But as long as you win five total you get a free chest. And in the chest can be a card, can be credits or potions and whatever else they can think of. So let's go and claim the reward. And, and oh, as I was battling, I get, if I win now because I'm high enough level, I win DEC. So that's another way to make a little bit of money. Now, all the money I'm making, you know, from victories or from chest or from whatever I just reinvested into the business and I got a rare car holy cow 
Okay, I, I mostly just get credits and uh, potions. But I actually got a rare... Let's go see what that's worth. Nice. Okay. So, oh, and by the way, I'm high enough level now that I get paid DEC every time I, I win a victory. And I got an extra two chests that I'll get. So I'll get a total seven chests right now in 10 days. Every 15 days is the end of the um, season. And in each chest, you can get a card just like I did. Now, that's the second card I've gotten off the quest. The first card was a common. That one was a rare. You can even get gold cards out of those chests just by doing this once a day. But let's go check out the... Uh, the value of what I just pulled out. And of course that gets to go towards my total. Okay. I hope it's not freezing up. Yeah, it is. Let's wait. See what happens. This is also good for, uh, you can see right away what's rented out and what's not because either I can or you can cancel the rental at any time. Okay, here we back are back on. Let's go to rare cards. Let's go to the chaos. Or actually, let's do it this way. Let's go to the cards I own. That would probably be easier. Okay, own cards. Rare. And let's see if I can remember which one I got. I believe it was, was it that one? Oh, no, it was this one right here. Okay, I did not have that one before, so that's good. Now, I try to keep two of every card, so one to sell and one to keep, uh, 14 cents. Not, you know, earth-shattering number, but it's a free card, and that can add up. And this card can go up in value. Right now, there's 214,000 in circulation, uh, and... Let me see what other... Oh, let's go look at the for sale. And it's running slow today. It's, so let's go look at the price per card. Kind of give you an idea if it's about to go up. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, so there's only one at 15 cents. And then it shoots, then it goes up to 16. And then see what people are doing is they're buying these and combining them. And when they do, it destroys the card. 17, yeah, so this is just going to go up. This is probably going to be a 20, 25 cent card here in the next few weeks, uh, days, who knows. Let's go look at the stats. So, to reach the max it out, you got to destroy 115 cards. But look how powerful it makes it. Okay, that puts you up to 8th level. And you get a special ability and all that. So there's a good incentive to combine and destroy these cards. And uh, so now let's go buy the daily pack. Got 803,000 before the next airdrop, which I'll get a chance to get free cards from the airdrop. Let's buy the pack. So that's going to give me definitely, that's going to give me six cards for today. Um, last night I was able to buy and sell. I didn't make, I didn't really make any money on that, but I was able to increase my power by some, uh, it's part of the strategy. Okay. Now I don't have any potions to use. Potions give you extra chances to win uh, a gold card or a legendary card or both. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's first card. That's a common. That's a rare. That is a common. That sneak attacks a night. This is a nice card. I've got two rare. That's three rares today that I got. 
Okay, so there we go. Now, these probably doesn't come up to $4, but it will. Oh, this is a very good card, too. It will one day. So I am happy with that pack. And the other thing I'm going to show you that I'm making money on is my every day I get an airdrop of Splinter Shards, which is the uh, crypto for the site. The DEC is the in-the-house crypto. And uh, I got zero there because I'm staking everything, 178. And it's up to th almost 13 cents. It was 11 cents yesterday. So I'm making money just from the value of this. Going. See, everything goes up. The the price goes up. And, you know, so one day if this is a dollar, I'd have 170 bucks right now. Um this is not financial advice. This is entertainment purposes only. Listen to me at your own risk and, and, you know, make up your own minds. If you would like to join this, you can join for free, play it, but you can't make any money until you pay the $10 entry fee, which is called the spell book. And then you can do this yourself. If you like what I show you, go down below. I have a link. You can join through that. I get a, a small reward from Splinter Lands for recruiting you. And, but it, Again, you can play it for free to see if you even like it or just watch what I'm doing. And if you see how I'm doing, you can do it and then maybe even take it to the next level because there's a good chance you're smarter than I am and you know how to uh, just do a better job at it. My goal is to just show you how you can make money on the site, not to play the game or win in battle strategies. There's so many more videos that are doing that that are they just nail it. So you can just go watch those. Uh, but that's it. Uh, now I'm staking. I'm getting 34% APR. And uh, then I'm. that's what I made in the last hour. And every time I'm in this part of the site, I go ahead and just stake it. Because every little bit helps. And it will help increase the over time. But that's it for today. I just wanted to update you on how it's going. A little bit of movement on the north side and a little bit of movement on the price going up. So that's good. So thank you for watching and have a nice